hello everyone uh, i hope you guys are doing great you guys are welcome back to my channel uh, in today's class uh, my today's lecture is going to be strictly for my uh it's going to be strictly for my beginners followers uh, it's just going to be a simple uh booboo -boo. it's going to be a simple booboo -boo dress so all you need to do is just fold your fabric this length is going to be your shoulder together with the sleeve So this is shoulder this is shoulder slant in two inches just slant your shoulder then fold, fold your fabric into two that is both the front and the back you place them together so you are going to mark either 11 or 12 inches here for the uh um, or for the sleeve round sleeve Then the neckline I'm using 4.5 inches here. That is the width. I'm using 4.5 inches. Then the depth I'm using 4 inches. So probably three years of fabric we do this time. Three years of fabrics we do it. So this is the front neck then the back just measure two inches then you cut up to this place so you are going to deepen the front neck with uh, by four inches Because it's going to have um, a keep at the front, so just half inch. You're going to cut it half. You are going to shape it half inch to that four inches, something like this. So the material is colorful. Let me place it here so that you, you see what I just did. This is it. This is what the neck is going to look like. Get your desired length of the dress, then the wideness is going to be your shoulder measurement together with the sleeve. So you place your tape at the mid back of your neck, then you take it to wherever uh, you want the sleeve to stop. So I'm going to cut, this is going to be like a facing. I'm going to cut a facing for it. So this is going to be the facing. I'm going to cut facing for it. So your facing now, it now depends on the, the kind of shape you want for it. But most importantly, this next shape that will cut out you are going to trace it out on that uh, facing like this you are going to trace out like this so now just like um, this you can go like this three inches wide from that neckline then you give it any kind of shape you want so i'm giving my own this kind of shape i don't know the shape you might want but this is the one this is the one i want so you need to do is just fold like this you iron it do the same thing here do the same thing here then this other side you can easily just put a gum to make it easy for you while you are folding so i've already done mine i've folded it with gum. so 
So all you need to do is just um, place it like this, the opposite side, then you sew. So this is it. I've already sewn it. So all you need to do is just turn it. All you need to do is just turn it, then you iron it very well so that it will relax. You iron it so that it will relax. Another thing is you can decide to add interface if you want to, like on the uh, facing. You can decide to add paper stay just to make it stronger or firm. But even without that, if you take your time to do it, it's going to be very neat. You can just use this aiming gun to tag it down so that by the time you are sewing it, it will be easy. Instead of using aiming gum too, you can decide to use office paint, so whichever one that is easy for you. So after tagging down like this now with the aiming gum. Just take it to your machine, then you sew on it round. Then you join the shoulder, join the shoulder part. So this is it. I've, I've already joined the shoulder part. Then the next thing now is you are going to leave your 11 inches open. Then you sew up to this place. Then you M this one. You M the round sleeve. This other down part too, you are going to sew it. You are going to aim. So I've already done that. A simple boo boo is ready. You can see how beautiful it is. Thank you very much, everybody, for watching. Please don't forget to share and subscribe. See you guys next time.